Good afternoon. This is the National Weather Service in Anchorage, Alaska with Monday's Alaska Statewide Weather. Weak low pressure in the Gulf of Alaska kept showery conditions over uh, the North Gulf Coast, Prince William Sound, Eastern Kenai Peninsula, and portions of the Copper River Basin. Showers extended into the northern panhandle with drier conditions to the south. High pressure over the southwest Bering Sea, ridging inland, produced mostly sunny skies from the southwest coast through the Cuscombe Valley and along the Yukon River to the Yukon Flats. Gusty winds of 40 to 50 miles an hour occurred from Kivalina to Point Hope with about a quarter of an inch of rain with a low pressure area tracking east-northeast along the Chukchi Sea and a weakening front brought some light rain to the central Aleutians. That front will continue to weaken, but will hold together enough to bring increasing wind and rain to St. Lawrence Island later tonight. This front will drag across Atka Island, and other trough will bring more light rain, fog, and drizzle to the western Aleutians. Scattered showers will slowly diminish over the southeast interior, as well as the northern panhandle, but will keep going most of the night due to a weak trough just off the north coast, extending from Yakutat down toward Elfin Cove. Look for gusty winds and rain to move eastward across the north slope and Arctic coast later tonight and Tuesday. And a front will push uh, gusty winds and rain into St. Lawrence Island through the Bering Strait and again along the northwest coast. Another system will produce more rain from Adak to Nikolski, as well as the Perilof Islands. And a stronger low pressure area will push uh, increasing wind and rain toward Kodiak Island later in the afternoon. Isolated showers are possible, otherwise partly sunny skies are in store for South Central Alaska. Wednesday will push wind and rain into Southern Alaska with gale force winds from Kodiak Island all along the North Gulf Coast. Wind and rain will increase along the Central and Northern Panhandle and possibly pushing into the Southern Copper River Basin. Otherwise, the northern interior will be dry, mostly north of the Alaska Range to the Arctic coast, looking for dry conditions with light winds. Periods of light rain, fog, and drizzle are likely out toward the west coast areas. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm David Percy.